Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. People ask me everywhere, at the gym, at work, what do I do for fun when I would like to eat something tasty, something what people call cheat meal. I say, look, first of all, I don't cheat. Something that I'm craving could be nutritious and one of the things is chocolate. So I make chocolate, my own chocolate from scratch and I mix it the way I like it and I make it extremely nutritious and tasty. So when people say healthy chocolate, I would like to reiterate healthy refers to people as a result of eating nutritious food. So the chocolate I teach you how to make today is very easy done. There's no time actually goes into making it, probably 10-15 minutes and you have probably enough chocolate for a, at least for a couple of weeks to a month. I eat a lot of chocolate because I do like cheat meals. So what I make today probably will be enough for two or three weeks. But I also share with people. To make a chocolate, you need a couple of things and to make them a little bit in the right side. So most of the important things to get quality ingredients. So what we've got here, we've got organic cocoa and most important part when you buy cocoa to make sure it's 100% organic and, and uh, it's 100% cocoa with no additive whatsoever. By the way, all ingredients I'm using today I'll put in the description down below so you can buy them. I buy my stuff from Amazon. It's easy, one click and you know, a couple of days later it's delivered to me. Uh, behind it I've got some um, virgin coconut oil and this is really important to get virgin or extra virgin coconut oil that way you get unrefined 100% good product and coconut oil is um, medium to saturated fat that fat is full of good good um, I'd say composition for your nerve system and for for your health in general so don't be afraid of all saturated fat and also it's very high in MCT which is medium chain triglyceride so I've got coca which is full of fiber as well people don't believe me when I say well people say well where did you get your fiber from like in a daily uh, meals besides I'm eating a lot of vegetables the coca very high on fiber so we've got 100% cocoa, we've got uh, coconut oil and I'm using, out of all uh, sweetness, I choose uh, erythritol. To me it's the best one, not because it's the best uh, artificial sweetener. First of all, there's nothing unhealthy about it. Or, I cannot say nutritious because it does not absorb in our gut, right? So if you eat erythritol, a lot of it, and you never tried it before, it may upset your gut because it cannot be digested. But the amount I put on the, on the, on the chocolate, on the, on the coca, it's actually not that big amount. I know it will look a lot, but it's not a big one. Uh, I buy erythritol from, from Amazon. The whole bag of that probably cost me around uh, $30, $40, and it's enough for almost a year. Right, so we've got coca, we've got uh, coconut oil, we got erythritol, then I use filter water. I explained at the end why I use filtered water and why it's so important. And that's all. Let's start. So what I'll do, I just put cocoa aside and I explain what I'm, what I'm doing. First of all, I open the whole jar of coconut oil and pour it in a container. Preferably glass container because I need to put it in the microwave and make it totally liquid. Uh, good coconut oil will start kind of solidifying in 22-24 degrees Celsius. So what is really important that um, before we mix it all together, it is around 30 to 35 degrees. It can warm up more, but then you know uh, it will take longer in the fridge to cool down. But you know, to mix it all well, it's enough that the mixture is around 30 degrees. So what I did, I used um, how much here? 900 grams to a liter of uh, coconut oil. And I put uh, that liter of coconut oil in the microwave for a minute, just to make it a little bit warmer. Now 
Meanwhile, I prep my erythro show and um, it's one of the things that I cannot provide you with measurements because it's not absorbed in my gut. I don't care how much I eat of erythro show. I usually put a mound that makes my chocolate taste like I, what I like. The coca is very bitter, so I put a little bit more erythro show that you know, uh, people would probably like. Um, it never upset my stomach and it makes that sweet taste. While I'm warming up coconut oil, I quickly explain why I'm making my own chocolate instead of buying dark chocolate in the shop. Doesn't really matter how dark chocolate you buy in the shop, there will be still additives. Uh, and cheapest additives from fat perspective would be um, soy oil, soybean oil, which is uh, very estrogenic. For men and for women, it's a disaster. It will upset your uh, hormones and I don't recommend consuming any soy products uh, but you know if you're already trying to eat healthy the soy product in chocolate it's no no and if you buy I don't know what's your tolerance level 75 85 90 percent of chocolate there is still 25 15 10 percent of sugars and other solids that's something is unacceptable in my books and it costs fortune. When you go in towards 85, 90% chocolate, it costs fortune. The setup that, that I'm, I'm describing right now cost me probably um, 10 to 15 dollars make chocolate that lasts me a month. If the same amount of chocolate I would buy from a shop and eat separately, probably cost me more than 100 dollars. So this is the price performance ratio we've got here. So we're achieving um, health, and we're achieving money saving and we're achieving taste that you like through making your own. All right, so let's get it out of the microwave. All right, it's nice and warm, um, not hot or anything. It's just warm and quite liquid. So what I'll do next, I'll add a resetrol and because the resetrol is not as uh, intrusive, the amount you add I would suggest you to um, taste it before, you know, if you do it for the first time. But, you know, I just pour in as much as I know I would like. No, it's not visible. The is always white and coconut is transparent. But, um, it's already at the bottom and when I mix cocoa in it, it will mix all together. So what I'll do, I'll, here I've got half kilo of organic cocoa and I slowly start pouring the coca in a, in a mixture and mix. What I'll do, I'll try to lower camera so it'll be visible what I'm doing here. Sorry about that. Um, and I, as you can see, it will start floating, but as you add more, it will start absorbing. So we're talking about 450 grams of coca right here. It's becoming quite um, chunky, but if you add slowly and mix well, it mixes quite good. All right, so already going through approximately half of it, which is good. So um, it depends on your taste. If you like more like smooth, oily chocolate, right? Um, I would. Uh, add less cocoa, but you will taste more coconut. And if you like more chocolate, like I do, like more powdery, more rough, um, like bitter taste, which is sweetened by resveratrol, um, I would put more cocoa. So um, depends what you do. You can tweak recipe. There's no right and wrong thing to do. It's not like um, a dish that you're cooking that you add more salt and you can spoil it. Um, it's literally, you will see 450 grams, I think 500 grams of coca gone uh, in 900 mils of uh, coconut oil. It's still a little bit chunky, so I kind of keep mixing it until it's um, all absorbed. And when I finish mixing it, I will judge if I need to add more coca, right? Um, the way I judge it, it should not become solid, but you can see the texture become more viscous. It's, it's becoming a little bit more gooey, which this mixture is not. So I'm taking another 450 um, 
grams of coca and start pouring in but this time I will pour a little bit more cautious so I don't overdo it you don't want your chocolate to be too bitter um, unless you like it uh, bitter I can already feel that it's become a um, little bit more um, solid alright so I'll probably stop so if I would evaluate it it's probably um, I don't know, 600 grams of coca to 900 grams of or, or, or milliliters of uh, oil because in solid states it's grams and in liquid states it's milliliters um, I'll probably put another 50 to 100 grams yeah, so probably half of the second packet and full first packet that would do so approximately let's say 700 grams of um, cocoa powder into 900 grams of um, coconut oil what we need to do now I'm not sure if it's visible mix it well I'll bring it here you can see there's still floating chunks on top uh, so we need to mix it well so all those chunks will be absorbed by um, coconut oil and that erythritol that I put in the beginning definitely already dissolved so it should be nice and sweet so what we've got here it's not solid but it's quite viscous you can feel that it's kind of gooey um, like um, I don't know how to describe it but it's um, it's definitely it's definitely solidified a little bit more so what we do now, we need to, what people call, seize it. And the way you do it, it's not actually put in the fridge. It would get solid, but it's, it won't be the same consistency as other chocolates that you taste in the shop. So what we do, we take a jug of water and we start putting water into the mix. So what happens, the fat and, 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 and um, water don't mix well together and we'll start seizing the mixture until it's become almost like um, like a dough um, like just before you put it in the oven like you know more solid and that's the consistency we would like to achieve if you overdo it it will become chunky not good if you underdo it it will be still liquidy so what I'll do I take filtered water and there's a reason why I take filtered water because there's a lot of chemicals in our water that you don't want um, will end up in your food so I start pouring water slowly um, and the reason slowly because water will float on top and you don't want that you would like water to get mixed until you feel that your mixture becoming very thick and you need to stop before it becomes chunky so we keep mixing it keep mixing it Oh, it's getting chunky. I will show you when I stop. I will show you what it is. It's really hard to describe. It's it's a, such an interesting phenomenon. You don't need much water to make it chunky. I will show you. See how it's become more like almost like solid structure. This is where I stop because it's still got water on the sides, and that water needs to be mixed in before it's becoming too thick and start breaking into chunks because. When it breaks into chunks, it's really hard to pour it into the form. And also, what I've got here, I've got a container here to pour it in. And I suggest you get a glass container as well, or maybe stainless steel if you would like a, a non glass container. The reason is that because when you get it out of the fridge, it will be solid and you need to break the chocolate apart. And if you start breaking it in a plastic container, plastic in a fridge becomes brittle and you may actually break plastic and plastic will end up in your chocolate. Now, that's what I would like to achieve. That's kind of not chunks, but very solid structure. See how it's solid? Now, it is ready. I'll just mix it a little bit more. And what I'll do, I'll put it into the form and then put it in the fridge. I'm not sure if it's visible, so pour it into the form. 
Yeah, great. It's like almost uniform or like almost like cake mixture. And trust me, after probably a couple of hours in the fridge, it will become really tasty chocolate. It's not your refined finished product like in the shop, like clean chocolate, right? But there's a reason why we're trying to stay away from refined food. And uh, they're not so good for us. And I'm not claiming that lean chocolate is not good, but this mixture from organic cocoa from uh, extra virgin coconut oil um, and filtered water, you can't get any, any better. And look, I'm so happy that I'm doing it by myself. I've got the perk of doing all the hard work when no one watching. I'll lick the bowl, there's so many leftovers, it's a perk of doing hard work. Alright, I will show you in a second what it looks like. So it looks like that, we've got in a form, you can actually make it very smooth and soft, it doesn't really matter because when you break it apart it's not commercial um, look of the product. Um, the problem only at the end, you won't be able to slice it neatly, it won't be as gooey, it will be very solid even at, fr uh, at fridge temperature. So be ready that those chunks will be a little bit not presentable, but trust me, the taste of the chocolate is amazing and has a lot of uh, health benefits. Um, cocoa is very rich in antioxidants and look, who doesn't like chocolate? It's a great treat. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like me to record anything else, um, uh, healthy food, good exercises, pre-workouts, post-workouts, whatever you dream about to do with health, nutrition, or any life hacks, please uh, let me know in the comment section. If you like this video or any other, other videos in my channel, feel free to subscribe, hit that bell uh, icon so you um, won't miss any videos. Well, until next time, Greg from Brisbane, Australia, until next time.